Hello everyone, Dependent Quarter here and uh, today I want to talk a, bit, uh, a little bit about choosing your picks. Uh, this is a video aimed more at the beginners and let's start. Uh, the first thing you want to see when you pick a lock you may be not using the correct pick for the lock. So, what is the first thing that I do when I acquire a new lock? I going to kind of sort them in categories. These are the two categories. These are paracentric keyway and these are not paracentric keyways. What's the difference? A non-paracentric keyway is when you stick your pick on the bottom and you can't pick from there. You can see the warding is obscuring. So with this lock in particular, you have to go from the warding and twist your pick around this angle to be able to pick the high lift pin, which is number four. So, this is an example of not paracentric keyway. You can see I can put my pick in the bottom. No, this one I can tell it's kind of paracentric because of this little teeth here, but you can still kind of pick from the bottom to the top. You can see it's a straight line. But what about the key? Maybe if I'm using this hook, I won't be able to pick the last pin because as you can see, as I'm picking the last pin, as I'm showing you from the wording on here, that's, this is where the, it corresponds to the key. If I'm picking from here, you can see as I'm picking the second pin, I'm already oversetting the first one. As I'm picking the fourth one, I'm oversetting the first and the third one. So, what you can do about it is take a deeper hook. This one is an SSDF. You can go around and pick without over setting. Another great thing you can do if you are still a beginner and don't know where your pick is, if you are picking the pins at all or the wording, take a sharpie or any marker and mark your key as so. After that, take your desired pick we said it's gonna be this one and when you put it over the key you can mark first pin second pin third pin fourth pin fifth pin and what you've done is now you know when you're picking exactly where your two is corresponding to the pins. You can see three, four, five. Visual aid helps a lot when you need to concentrate on your tension or your picking. Okay, now. Let me show you a couple more examples of not paracentric keyway. This one is the same Abus keyway. You can see I can pick from the bottom all pins, no problem. You can see the pick goes straight from the bottom up. Again, same thing. If you are not sure if your short hook most of the time 
with that A bus beating, you're not going to be able to reach it like this. You're just going to overset, overset everything. But when you take the deep hook, you can pick it no problem without interfering with the rest of the pins. Okay, this gopi also has not non paracentric QA. You can see, you can go from the bottom. Excuse me, guys. Now, the non, the paracentric ways in the other hand, a little bit more tough. You can see, I can kind of fiddle my pick from the bottom, but if you have a high set pin, high lift, excuse me, before, bit, uh, before right after low lift, it's going to be a trouble. Most of the times what I do for the Yale keyway is I just put bottom of the keyway tension like this and pick off the warding on the right like this. Now you can do the same thing as I told you before. Put in your key, mark it, take it out. Choose a pick that will be able to lift the pins without oversetting. This one is good. And mark it. One, two, three, and four. Next one I can show you is the Yale 500 Euro cylinder, which is again for some people very hard key way to navigate. You can simply put your pick in and pick from the bottom. You just can't. You need to pick from the warding on the right. And again, you can find this is the with the nastier nastier beating. I purposefully chose this for a challenge lock making. Again, you can do this. Put your key, mark it, take it out. Watch your hooks. When I'm picking from the wording. This one, this part of the key is uh, basically not existing. I need to measure it from here. First pin OK, second pin OK, third pin. You see, oversetting the second when you set the third. I'm not even going to try the last two pins because they're almost max lift. So again, the deep hook is going to rescue. You can see, I can pick all these pins, just barely, barely without oversetting. Another thing uh, is useful to know is that you can actually pick with a very thin hook through the warding because there are holes in the warding for the pins. So excuse me it's out of frame so if your pick is thin enough you can actually defeat the paracentric keyways no problem just pick from the bottom but it's really important to know that you are on the pins and you're not picking the warding because then your thin pick is going to bend and maybe even break so this ssdf euro style hooks are very good for your cylinders and again let's see this mower very very 
paracentric QA. But I can stick my pick and basically pick through the warding holes. If you can't, if you have other picks, mark them, stick them on the side where you can maneuver and pick your box. Uh, I hope I helped someone new. If you guys have any questions or comments, I'll be glad to answer them. Hope you have a nice day. Good luck picking your locks and see you later. Bye bye.